I would like to fix what we have. It's been a month since President Trump announced a massive $1.5 trillion infrastructure repair plan for the nation. But it's still a long shot since there's been little political support for a plan that only budgets 200 billion federal dollars as a way to spur a trillion dollars in funding from state cities and the private sector. It's a hot topic for the candidates running against incumbent Congressman David Young in Iowa's third district. So what do they think of Trump's plan? Teresa Greenfield is a Des Moines real estate executive. I'd like to see him take action on a plan right now. It seems like a lot of talk. I'm glad he's heading out to talk more around the country. But let's get some results because one, it'll fix real problems, it'll provide real jobs, and these are real families that depend on those jobs and that infrastructure. Austin Frerick is a full-time candidate. I think Trump's infrastructure plan is pretty pathetic. I think it's a good example of Dave Young and Donald Trump's uh, priorities. It's only one-seventh the size of the GOP tax plan give way to the rich. And there's clearly such a need in Iowa that there's so much more to do here. Pete D'Alessandro is a former aide to Bernie Sanders' campaign. I see it as a, maybe it's a way for him to get out there and, and get, get, have a reason to, to go out and do a bunch of these rallies. But I don't see it as a serious plan that will actually affect positively uh, in any way the things that we need to uh, be talking about. Uh, both in our country, but certainly in, the, in, in Iowa and, and specifically in the 3rd District. Paul Knupp is a Central Iowa minister. He cannot get done what he wants to do with private funding. The government has the money and we can raise the money. We could raise a trillion dollars by simply raising the tax rate on the upper 1% of our population and uh, produce uh, the money necessary uh, to get all the infrastructure repairs finished. Cindy Axney is a former Department of Natural Resources official. Right now, with the tax bill, our state and local governments are already uh, well, uh, well underfunded uh, from what they need to be able to function well. This just puts another burden on top of that, uh, which I don't think we're going to be able to absorb. I'd like to see more money coming from the federal government uh, to support these initiatives. Eddie Morrow owns his own Des Moines insurance company. He's had a lot of rhetoric, um, but at the end of the day, he's really helped his cronies and uh, um, uh, special interest, um, and it hasn't uh, filtered down the people that really need it the most. And I worry about that. I worry about this becoming a private tax credit uh, mechanized initiative, and if that's the case, it won't uh, meet the needs of, of the people it should really help.